Hi, so I would like to show you today another way that we can monitor hives um, to see if they have Varroa. So this is using a capping scratcher um, and so it will actually take the tops of the capped brood off and so you can actually lift up the brood and see um, if there are any Varroa in there. So we'll open up the hive and I'll give you a bit more of a um, demonstration about that. So Varroa um, do a pretty amazing thing in the hives. They will actually preferentially choose to go and hide and breed in drone capping, so in drone brood. So they know, and I'm unsure how they know this, but they know the drone comb from the worker comb, the drone brood from the worker brood. Um, and so the worker brood, so remembering that our bees here um, are Apis mellifera, and so a worker bee takes um, 21 days from egg to hatching. A drone egg takes from egg to hatching, drone takes 24 days, so it's three extra days. So the varroa know that that three extra days means they can breed more and mature more before they actually come out of the um, capping. So they will actually preferentially choose drone brood knowing that they like I say, they're knowing that they can breed more and produce more offspring. So it's an amazing feat for a tiny little parasite. So I'm actually going to go through here and find some drone brood. And then we can, um, using our capping scratcher, can actually, our drone cap, we can actually uncap that drone brood and actually pull the drone pupae out and see if the varroa are on there. So like I mentioned, we've, we've already mentioned some of the other monitoring techniques. So this is one of the ones that's definitely not as um, exact as some of the other ones. So this is more of a sort of a yes or no to do I have Varroa. You can't really tell by doing this technique how much you have, but it will definitely, as soon as you see them, you'll know that you have Varroa in your hive and then you can uh, make, do some other monitoring to determine um, if you need to treat, if it's high enough to treat. But this one's definitely just a sort of a, a, a yes or no to if I have Varroa in there. So this brood is all just um, worker brood, um, which you can still use the capping scratcher on, it's just a lot more difficult because worker brood is quite flat and sort of flush with the rest of the frame. But when we find some drone brood, I'll show you how it um, pokes out. Okay, so we have some drone brood on here. I'll shake these little bees off. But you can see up here, this is our drone brood and it pokes out more. So this is our worker brood here, quite flush with the rest of the um, frame. And this is our drone brood that pokes out. So we're gonna get our capping scratcher and we're gonna take, we're actually gonna use the, um, the stab, that little fork bits there to actually stab in and lift out and see if we can actually lift up the drone pupae to see if there's any varroa on there. So we've got our capping scratcher and we found our drone brood. And so the easiest way to do it is to, because the drone brood is poking out more, you sort of hold the, um, the capping scratcher flush with the worker brood level and stab it through the drone comb, the drone brood. So it actually stabs into the drone brood themselves and then lift. So you'll see on this little part here, we're gonna stab it in and then lift and it will actually remove the drone brood. So you can straight away, because the drone brood um, are nice and bright white, and Varroa is a very dark brown parasite, you will see straight away if any of these have a little Varroa parasite on them. So we can see there that the little brown Varroa, the little brown Varroa that runs around on the, um, the white pupae. So very easy to see. So in terms of monitoring techniques, this is quite easy to do. Like I mentioned, you just pop the tops off, pull up the drone comb, um, and you can see the brood there. So, but just remembering, of course, that this is, uh, it's not very exact. So obviously we don't know the small portion that we've uncapped. We don't know how that represents the whole hive because um, it's only a very small amount and it's only the drone brood. So it's more, this monitoring technique is more of a, just a yes or a no, rather than um, a way to count it to determine how you need to treat your hive. It's still a very good technique. 
um, if you're monitoring your hive for if it does have row or not. But then if you do find it, you may have to do um, one of the other monitoring techniques to determine how many row are in here and if you need to treat. So in summary, using a capping scratcher to check your drone brood for Varroa is a really good way to determine if you have Varroa established in your hive. Um, if you do find Varroa like using this technique, then you have to use a different monitoring technique to actually work out the number of Varroa in your hive, and then you can make decisions on if you need to treat or not. But just as a yes or no, drone capping, drone uncapping should I say, is actually a really good way to determine if Varroa is in your hive.